Hey! What's up people? Today I am going to present you a in-depth review of Bangladesh vs New Zealand second Oda match. It was a really very surprised match, especially for Bangladesh crickets. Neil Broom's century and a dramatic Bangladesh collapse helped New Zealand coast to a 67-run win in the second of three one-day internationals in Nelson on Thursday, December 29, the victory giving the home side an unassailable 2-0 lead in the series. Broom's unbeaten 107 ball 109, his maiden century, helped New Zealand post 251 after being put in. But Bangladesh seemed well on course to hunt the target down, with Imral Kaza's 89 ball 59 and his 75 run stand with Sabar Rahman, 49 ball 38, setting up the chase. However, from 104 for 1 in the 23rd over, Bangladesh was bundled out for 184 in 42.4 overs, losing its last 9 wickets for 80 runs. The victory which came on the back of New Zealand's 77-run win in the first ODA, gave the home side a 2-0 lead, with the final ODA, also in Nelson, to be played on Saturday. Thereafter, Mahudula, 1, was cleaned up by Lockie Ferguson's Yorker, before Williamson had Sheikhib Al Hussan, 7, Mozadek Hussain, 3, and Tanber Hader, 2, dismissed in quick succession. With Saudi scalping Ks in between those wickets, Bangladesh was reduced to 136 for 6. Nur al Hussan, 24, the debutante, and Mashraf Mortaza, 17, then added a steadying 21, but that only served to delay New Zealand's eventual victory, as Trent Bolt nipped out both batsmen. New Zealand, ranked number 4 on the International Cricket Council table, is the favourite, but Bangladesh, which certainly didn't disgrace itself in the first game, would be desperate to keep its recent surge, though mainly at home, going and put up a performance that belies its number 7 ranking. If it can do that, the series will stay alive. New Zealand, meanwhile, is sure to try and seal it with one game in hand. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel to get more updates.